today on the Cambridge Kitchen uh, we are going to make a sausage pasta bake um, in a tomato sauce with a nice cheese and uh, breadcrumb topping. Dead simple to make, good family meal, okay, a nice big tray of this stuff, bang it out on a plate, perfect. The whole family will love it. Let me show you how to get this put together. Okay, so what we're going to need, um, we're going to need some chopped tomatoes, okay, we've got two tins of chopped tomatoes. You're going to want some tomato passata, um, or tomato um, juice sort of thing. Um, you're going to want about 250 grams of that stuff. I'm going to use some lazy garlic. Um, you can use a clove of garlic if you like. I'm using lazy garlic just for convenience. You're going to want about six sausages. Okay, got some nice Lincolnshire British pork sausages here. They're going to be delicious. About six of them. Um, we need some Parmesan cheese. You're going to want 50 grams of this stuff all grated up. We're going to want a pinch of chilli flakes, uh, like half a teaspoon of some chilli flakes. You're going to want some thyme, okay, I'm using dried, uh, you can use fresh if you like, that's fine, but we've got some dried thyme. And you've got about two teaspoons of that. Um, and then we're going to want some bread, about 50 grams of stale bread, just to make up some bread crumbs, or fresh bread, um, either or. We're going to get them in a food processor and get these bread crumbs. Okay, so at the food processor, I'm just going to cut this bread into manageable pieces. And like I said, you want about 50 grams of this stuff. And then I can rip that up, rip that up. And what we're going to do is pop this into the food processor, a couple of bits at a time, and get it into breadcrumbs. So um, we've got our 50 grams now of breadcrumbs all um, processed here. What we're going to do is going to get these into a bowl, get them mixed in with the cheese and the, uh, and the chilli flakes. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to get all of our breadcrumbs out into this bowl. Give a bit of a shake. And then to this we're going to add our 50 grams of Parmesan cheese. So we'll get that into there. Give that a little bit of a mix around with your hands. Lovely, lovely. Um, and then we're going to add our chilli flakes. Don't go too mad with this. Um, literally, all you need is half a teaspoon, okay? So just a pinch there of chilli flakes, because these are pretty hot. Okay, so there we are. We've got that all in a bowl. What we're going to do is pop a lid on this, make sure it's secure, and give it a good old shake. Do that. We can set that aside for use a little bit later. Okay, down here I've um, emptied my two tins of um, chopped tomatoes into a measuring jug. I've got my passata open, um, and what we're going to do next is we're going to get these six sausages, we're going to skin them and um, cut them into um, halves, so we wind up with, with 12 halves. I'm going to skin our sausages out. I mean, there's eight in here, you can use eight if you like. Two, four, six, eight, yeah. But I'm only going to use... Uh, I'm only going to use six of them. We'll cook the other two off and have a sausage sandwich with it. There we are. Okay, so we've got six sausages. <clears throat> and basically all we're going to do is skin these. Like so. Cut them into half. And just roll them up a little bit into balls. There we are. So we'll do all of them, and then we'll get them cooking. Okay, so there we are. Um, we've got our 12 um, sausage balls all done here. What I've done is I've flattened them down as well a little bit, so we've got a little bit more room in the dish. Um, and what we're gonna do now is get these into cook. Okay, so what we've got here is a preheated oven, okay, this is on 200 degrees um, centigrade and what we're going to do, we've got up here um, an oven dish, okay, quite a sort of a deep set oven dish, about two inches deep. We're going to get some olive oil into that dish, just a splash, we're going to pop those sausages in the oven, get them cooking for about 10 minutes. Uh, get all of those sausages now nice and coated in this olive oil okay so you can turn them over flip them around a little bit so they're all covered or well, what you can do 
Let's just drizzle a little bit more over the top. Not too much. Basically all we want to do is to brown them off for about 10 minutes in that oven. There we are. So give them 10 minutes to cook and um, we'll whip them up. While they're cooking, what we're going to do now is going to make a tomato sauce. Okay, so while those sausages are cooking uh, in the oven, we're going to make up um, the tomato sauce. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to put our tomatoes and our passata, garlic and thyme into a pan and get that, uh, get that heated up. Okay, so let's get the heat on the pan. What we're going to do is literally just going to tip, put the whole lot of the tomato straight into that pan. And then we're going to put about 200 grams of the passata on top of it. All straight in there. One teaspoon now of our lazy garlic, a good teaspoon, a nice heat one. Pop that into there with a bit of juice as well. And if you're using fresh thyme, obviously you will want to chop that up, but I'm using dried. So we're going to put two teaspoons now of thyme. Good, good, good sort of generous one, just a lovely flavour thyme. Into there, we'll get that all mixed together. We'll get a wooden spoon. There we are, so we'll mix this together now um, for about five minutes, get it all nice and warm. While this is mixing up together and our sausages are cooking, I'm just going to give a little shout out um, to my new uh, fan friend, uh, indeed, on YouTube, Chris the Butcher. Uh, he has a YouTube channel, and um, that should be running across the bottom of the screen now, so you can take a little look at it, okay? He's a colourful character, mine guys, okay? So be warned, he uses a few colourful metaphors in his videos, doesn't take himself overly serious, but I tell you what, he's pretty entertaining um, and he, he comes up with some decent cooking ideas as well. So take a little look um, and see what you think. Okay, so back to my um, tomato sauce. This is warming up quite nicely. What we're going to do now is we're going to get some pasta cooking ready to finish the dish off. Okay, so um, I've got about 300 to 350 grams of this fusely pasta, okay? I haven't made this myself, um, probably should have, but I didn't. This is all about convenience. Um, it's a coloured one, okay, so it's got some nice colours, so it's going to look um, pretty decent once it's, once it's finished. What we're going to do is we've got a pan of water cooking here. I'm going to pop some salt into this water. Come here, a little splash, a little shake of salt, just for seasoning. Um, and then follow the instructions, basically, on the packet, I suppose. We're going to cook this off for about 10 minutes, just so it's al dente. And we don't want it fully cooked, but pretty much cooked. Okay, so this can go straight into the pan and we'll get this boiling and then down to a simmer for about 10 minutes. There we are, the whole lot into that water. Get that boiling. Okay, um, so while everything is cooking off up here now, our pasta's probably got about another five minutes um, before it's al dente. Our tomato sauce um, is behind it. Our sausages, I've just checked them, are just starting to go brown in the oven, so we can whip them out of the oven, set them aside, and ready to mix them together with the other ingredients once they're ready. So, uh, back at the stove, our pasta has been cooking now for about 10 minutes or so, and I've just checked it with a fork, and it is, it's not fully cooked, but it's al dente, it's just about cooked. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a colander, and we're going to drain it out into a colander and then it's going to go straight into the tomato sauce. And there we are, there's all our pasta all drained off and that can go straight into our tomato sauce. We mix it all up. There we are, so what we're going to do um, now that's mixed in is we are going to add our cooked sausages, juice and all, into there as well. Put the whole lot in there, including the fat. 
going to add loads of flavour to it. Get them all mixed in. Just turn them into the into the mix. Okay, and what we're going to do with this now, um, in the oven dish uh, that we cook the sausages in, we are going to ladle all of this mixture as much as we can into this oven dish. I mean, you might get more than one, it depends how big your dish is. Um, I'm kind of thinking I'll probably get a little bit left over, but we'll get this oven dish filled up, put the breadcrumbs and cheese that we made up earlier on it, and bake it in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. Look at that. Make sure you get all the sausages in, pretty important. There we go, and on top of this now with your hands, cover it nicely with all of this breadcrumb, parmesan, topping. And there we are. Okay, what we're going to do with that now is we're going to put that in the oven um, on about 200 degrees for about 15, 20, 25 minutes. Just keep having a little look at it until those breadcrumbs have gone nice and brown, that pasta's nice and cooked. And there you go. You've got a family meal. The whole family are going to enjoy. Okay, so our sausage pasta has been cooking in that oven now uh, for about 20 minutes. I've just had a little look at it. It's gone lovely crispy and brown and it's done, it's ready to come out. As long as that pasta's cooked, um, which it should be, this is going to taste absolutely delicious. Smells beautiful. I'm going to go and get it. Here we are guys. Sausage pasta bake. A meal the whole family can enjoy.